limitations women have to be successful in this area. We all know that uh, in the U.S. at this time, for example, 50% of medical students are women. So why less than 20% of women actually become leaders? If we don't encourage women leaders and future women scientists uh, to grow and uh, progress equally, we're going to lose a wide pool of talent. I've been in too many rooms recently where I'm one of the only, one of the few women in the room and it's so easy to feel invisible in those situations. So I just want to tell everybody that we are not invisible. Uh, women work just as hard, if not harder, than men uh, in medicine uh, and in life. And not having opportunities for them to advance, uh, to be successful in their careers, having barriers and obstacles to, uh, for them to advance is fundamentally unfair and doesn't uh, uh, evoke the principles of justice. Uh, so if you are connected with a sense of justice, just as I am, you should join us in this advocacy. We, we just want to be evaluated objectively as any other professional and not be pushed back only by the fact that we are women. Um, obviously, I need role models, but just as equally so, we also need to make sure we're role modeling for those that come behind us. If you don't have adequate women representation, it's harder to appropriately factor in factors or issues that matter to these women who are currently living with a disease entity. We have an opportunity as women in medicine to be the voice for us as a group, but then to extend that to women and girls around the world um, who don't have the opportunities and the voice that we have. I think it's a challenging time, uh, both to be a woman and to be raising girls or kids in general. And so my hope sort of from this conference and beyond is that we find a way to take action to make the world a better place. <laughs> women supporting women creates a huge network of a sisterhood where we can go for problems, for help, for solutions. We can sponsor each other. Um, not only women, but, but LGBTQ and, and non-binary individuals uh, have had real trouble um, finding a welcoming and safe work environment in medicine. And I think it'll really be fun to see how, since we're at the ATS meeting, how the ATS will grow from this. I think corporations have seen tremendous change in productivity and employment, contentment. I think the, the ATS can really be a home for this um, launch of equity. It's time to really change and um, be more effective if we mix and have more diversity. I encourage all young women that are out there to keep striving for your goals, keep striving for your passion, pursue it, uh, create a network of other women that you can get advice from and help you in your growth in your career and in your research. And I challenge every one of you to do one thing in the near future to improve the diversity of the group that you're in. And then make that a habit, a common practice. Keep it in mind because we're going to do better for our patients and for ourselves if that happens. Say when. I, I think this is a really important time for women. Let me ask you, what do you want to know from me about women in medicine? Why do you think it's important? Oh. Well, wow. é simplesmente incrível. Aí é recording. Ah, não quero.